for today are the following. For Thanksgiving, Paul Martin Kison, Sister Lori Lynn Arias and family, Brother Andy Vergara and family, Marietta Kasawa and family, Simon and Claire Calderwood and family, Sister Rahel Vihamoy and family, Nick and Han Jones and family, Jessica Aquino and family, Nova Garcia and family, Jefferson Lapus Garcia and family, Annie Garcia and family, Idly Flor Tol Tolentino and Vergas, Sister Dorimar Domingo. For birthday celebrant, Ivy Gomez, Kisi Gadnanan, Archie Balinas, Mark Lawrence Balinas, Lee Jetro Arellano, Justin Bangad, Lydia Kasaway, Rex Ernest Tanso, Lorna Dapiton, Mary Elijah Hamoy, Jerry Rivera, Glory Vic Gairama, Lori Vic Punsalan, Bea Wong, Nora Wong, Violeta Senido, Jetro Bumidang, Leonor Saidokis, Remedios Rebinito. For wedding anniversaries, Mr. and Mrs. Lori Lynn and Tom Adrias. Lor and Mrs. Jodel and Joel Ronald Orel. Jessica George Embrado. Wenseto Goterab for birthday. Jameson Asto. Uh, Jacqueline Sandal and Jonathan Sista. For inten mass intention, Honda Byte Ahmad successful business transaction. For mass for the soul, Honey Liboon, David Perez, Lilian Sagisin, Nenita Sagisin, Elena Aureliano, Primo Tabuco, Benjamin Ver Vergara, Yonita Vergara, Jesus Lapus, Crispina Lapus, Loreto Lapus, Felipe Cabreros, Emilia Eating, Corazon Publico, Ana Aneclito Publico, Luli Lucila Publico, Amelia Publico, Lucila Cadusio, Tomas Cadusio, Erlinda Cadusio, Ines Publico, Crispin Publico, Marieta Fiesta, Maris Enriquita Cruz, Petronila Concon, Alfonso Senido Senior, Alona Senido, Melesio Samola, Pasita Hamola, Aurora Aras, Telmago, Hosan, Josefina Casparas, Helen Escobar. Ramon Sequesa, Priscila Sequesa, Antonio Sequesa, Elmo Sequesa. For birthday, Kyle Christopher Lagalogo, May Puno. Today, we celebrate the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. What is it to be a leader? Defining the qualities of a leader can be challenging because leadership simply cannot be reduced to a fixed theory. Today's world still experiences the kind of leaders portrayed in the first reading. Our task is to search actively for genuine leaders whose hearts beat for nobody but God and his people. Great leaders act with discernment, 
whose lives are anchored in prayer and reflection. Authentic leaders pay attention to how God moves in their lives and responds to the world's needs. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Ayan, habang inaantay po natin ang ating butihing pari po, tayo pong lahat ay magsitayong muli at tayo po ay sasayaw sa Lord. Amen. Papawis po daw muna. Hallelujah. Sige po, yung mga handang sumayaw at tumawit sa Lord, taas ang kamay. Tumatayo at pumapalakpak yan. Amen. Tumatayo, pumapalakpak at sumisigaw ng hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sigawin lang ang nag-iisang ari. Amen. Sige mag-cha-chang. Ang dakilang Panginoon Nagagalap Nasambahin ka aming Diyos Mga dakila mong gawa Gabis akong namamangha Kaya naman sa puso ko ay nagpupuri Papuri para sa nag-iisang hari Ikaw noon Hanggang ngayon Nagilang Panginoon, labis ako, nagagalak, nasambahin ka aming Diyos. Mga dakila mong gawa, labis akong namamangha, kaya naman sa puso ko ay magpupuri, papuri para sa nag-iisang hari.
and our presiding priest for today is Reverend Father Raja Dugimbudi, P.I.M.E. Please all stand and join the choir for the entrance hymn. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. Let us begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I like the song you were singing before, Alleluia. Huh? Very, very nice to hear. And I can see the joy, you know, I can see the happiness because this is your uh, Sunday, no? This is your relaxing day. And uh, it's good to know how, you, how to relax because you enjoy the singing, you enjoy the dancing. And this is our three theme for today, relaxing, okay? Later I will tell you how I relax. <laughs> but I'm really happy that, no? Nice, beautiful singing, yeah. So, as we gather here today, let us uh, pause for a moment, accept our unworthiness, our sinfulness, and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh 
take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated for the liturgy of the word. First reading, the kings and religious leaders of Judah called to care for and protect God's people, abused the authority, and put the people in danger. God intervenes and promises salvation for his people. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to the shepherds who mislead and scatter the flocks of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, against the shepherds who shepherd my people. You have scattered my sheep and driven them away. You have not cared for them, but I will take care to punish your evil deeds. I myself will gather the remnants of my flock from all the lands to which I have driven them and bring them back to their meadows. There they shall increase and multiply. I will appoint shepherds for them who will shepherd them so that they need no longer fear and tremble. And none shall be missing, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David as king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In these days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord, our justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gave me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want.
second reading. Paul points to Jesus as our mediator, with the Father and with one another. After reconciling us with God, Jesus breaks the barrier of hostility that keeps us apart. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, he who made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through his flesh, abolishing the law with its commandments and legal claims that he might create in, in himself one new person in place of the two, thus establishing peace and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enmity to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near, for through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the gospel. Hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in, a, in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please all be seated for the homily. Hello to everyone, those outside there. Can you hear me say, yeah, the, the, you are always outstanding, no? Outstanding. <laughs> always outside, no? If you are outside, you become outstanding Catholics. Once a year, I especially thank the Diocese of Hong Kong, the Bishop of Hong Kong, because he gives, for us Pari, he gives every year three weeks of holidays. And uh, I look forward to those three weeks of holidays. And I prepare myself, you no know, months before I prepare myself, look forward for that day. And when I go home to see my parents and spend with them for three weeks, very, very happy. And when I come back, <laughs> yeah. 
No, I'm happy to see you, that's what I'm telling. <laughs> but my mother was crying when I, when every time when I come back, no? But I say that there are so many people who will take care of me. So those so many are you, huh? So my mother is happy now, no? And um, it is very important to relax, no? And uh, in the diocese uh, of Hong Kong, we have two types of holidays. One, just now, as I said, every year you can go home for three weeks. Or you wait for three years and go for three months. But, you know, those three months, I don't know, after one month, I don't know what to do. <laughs> now that I have only few friends, you know, I don't know really what to do. And uh, the people also ask me after one month, Father, when are you going back? <laughs> so it is a little bit uh, longer. So I said, I will choose the first method. You know? uh, so go home every year, spend, uh, spend some time with the parents, because I have the uh, obligation of the fourth commandment. What is the fourth commandment? Honor your father and mother, right? Honor your father and mother. So even if you are a party, you are ob obliged, okay? You are, uh, you have to follow the commandments. And so the theme for this uh, Sunday is relax, no? You relax. And uh, I see every Sunday, not only today, the way you relax really inspires me. I know that you love singing. I know that you love dancing, no? I see so many times uh, singing and dancing, and uh, in that way you relax because that is the day, only one day that you can, no? And so it is very important to relax in a meaningful way. And why? Because it gives us a lot of energy. It gives us a lot of strength so that we can work hard. Remember, even God has rested on the seventh day. God has worked for six days, created the heavens and the earth, and everything that exists, and on the seventh day, uh, he has rested. And he has blessed that day, and we call that day the holy day, or the Sabbath day, and today we call it as Sunday. No? So that is why, it is very important that we understand the meaning of this word relaxing. Jesus also is telling the disciples, you know, come away by yourself to a deserted place and rest a while. Because we are human beings, we cannot work like machine for 20 hour, 24 hours. We need to take some rest. And so Jesus understood because the disciples were working very hard. And that is why he told them, please take a rest. And so he was inviting them to really take rest and get energy so that you can work more and more. And the second thing, the people always, always were looking for Jesus. They want to hear Jesus again and again. For example, you like, you like one song, no? You want to hear again and again. Or you like a, a preacher, no? Somebody preaching. Maybe you, you like it very much and you want to hear again and again and again. Why? Because it is so relaxing. Why? Because it is touching your life. Why? Because it is touching your hearts. And Jesus was a very great speaker. You know, a great speaker because he was able to enter into the lives of the people. He was able to touch the hearts of the people, touch the families, touch the people by his preaching. Let's say, for example, he was talking about the forgiveness. And Jesus explains the meaning of forgiveness and people can relate. Yes, it is true, because it happened in my life. 
Yes, it is true because it happened in my family. Yes, I understand the meaning and the value of forgiveness because also something happened in my life. And so Jesus was a great speaker because he was able to touch the hearts of the people, touch the lives of the people. And that is why many people want to listen again and again and again. And so this is the second thing the gospel is telling. Have the desire to listen to the word of God every day. Have the desire, desire to listen to the word of God every day. That is why many times I recommend people, so when we come here, we are celebrating mass, we are singing, we are praying, but this is a community activity, you know, community prayer. But then when we go home, it is also important that we have our own personal prayer life. Some people like to read the Bible. Some people like to recite the rosary. Some people do like to do the meditation. And uh, it is very, very, very important. And so Jesus, you know, he, was, uh, tele he was able to touch the hearts of the people. And the people have this desire. And we also should have this desire. Desire to listen to God every day. Desire to listen to God every day. Why? Because there is an atmosphere of peace. There is an atmosphere of joy. Uh, there is an atmosphere you really want to do better. Uh, because the Lord is entering in your life through the word of God, through your prayer. And finally, Jesus says, he looks at the crowd and he says, no, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd and he was teaching them many things. So remember, a shepherd is the one who is leading the people. The shepherd is the one who is leading the sheep. And so a shepherd for us today is, we can call it as a priest, no? A priest and bishop, we are, we are shepherds. And so uh, one thing is very important, no? We have to listen to our shepherds. We have to listen to our shepherds. I'm not telling to you, but all those who are listening, this is my message, no? We have to respect our party. We have to respect our shepherds. We have to listen to them. Maybe sometimes they don't agree with our ideas. Maybe sometimes they have a different idea than us. But remember, a shepherd, a pari, is the one who is anointed. So he is blessed. And so he is representing God. And uh, he is the one who is giving us the word of God. And so the first thing is to respect. Because he is the one chosen by God. And when you respect, when you obey, when you listen, remember, your blessing is doubled. You have more and more and more blessings. And so Jesus was having pity, moved with pity for them, because that is the heart of the shepherd. A shepherd is the one who is always working for the people. And so learn always to respect. Learn to listen, learn to obey. Because when you listen, when you respect, you are obeying God. You are respecting God. And so this is also very important for me, for you, for each one of us. And so dear brothers and sisters, the gospel talks about three important things. Relaxing. Uh, relaxing is very important. And the second thing, have the desire in your heart for the word of God for the prayer and remember always to respect our shepherds god bless you please all stand to profess our faith i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. 
He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Heavenly Father that we may become like Jesus, faithful sheep and loving shepherds to one another. Our response, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayer. May the church remain vigilant against false shepherds who lead people astray from God's fold. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all religious and civil leaders imitate the leadership of Christ. May they advocate the welfare of those put under their care by upholding the dignity of the latter at all times. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we, your sheep, amidst the many alluring voices in the world, listen attentively to your voice through informed and well-founded discernment we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who have gone ahead of us enter the ever-abundant pastures of your eternal paradise. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May El Shaddai community grow in numbers, listen and follow the voice of the Good Shepherd, and in our lives may Jesus shine upon us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, listen to our humble pleas. Help us become more and more like Jesus, the Good Shepherd and the faithful Lamb of God. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist presentation of the gifts.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. With faith and confidence, let us address the Father in the words our Lord has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of the world, the 
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people. We pray, O Lord, and lead those we have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the Holy Souls. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family. Amen. And before receiving God's blessings, let us all give thanks to Yahweh El Shaddai for all the graces we receive in the Holy Mass. And thank you, Father Raja, for being with us today. Thank you. I'm with you always, not only today. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
kapatid, tayo po ay manatiling nakatayo at ating pong dadasalin ang awit ng pagtitiwala sa Diyos. Siyang nagangad ng pagkupkop ng kataas-taasan at nananatili sa kalinga niyong makapangyarihan. Makapagsasabi sa kanyang Panginoon, mong katahanan. Ikaw ang aking Diyos, ang Diyos na tangi kong pinagtiwalaan. Ika'y niligtas niya sa panganib sa umang nabitag. At kahit anumang mabigat na salot, di ka magdaranas. Lulukaw ba niya sa lilim ng kanyang malabay na pakpak? Sa kalinga niya ay nakikita mo na ikaw ay ligtas. Iingatan niya at ipagsasanggala ang pagkat siya ay tapat. Pagsapit ng gabi, di ka matatakot sa anumang bagay. Maging sa gagawing biglaan paglusob pagsapit ng araw. Ni sa ano pa mang darating na salot pagkagat ng dilim, di ka matatakot sa kasamaan mang araw kung dumating. Kahit mabuwal sa iyong harapan ng sandibong tao, sa iyong paligid ang bilang ng patay maging sampung libo. Di ka matatakot at titiyak mong di ka mano. Ika'y nagmamasid at sa panonood iyong mamamasdan. Yaong masasama ay makikita mong pinarurusahan sapagkat si Yahweh ang ginawa mong tagapagsanggalang at ang pinili mong mag-ingat sa iyo'y kataas-taasa. Di mo habuting ika'y mapahamat at walang daratan. Kahit anong uri ng mga paghihirap sa iyong tahanan, susuguin niya ang maraming anghel sila ang susubaybay. Kahit sa ang dako ikaw maparoon, tiyak iingatan. Sa kalingang palad ay tataas ka na magtataas nang hindi masakta ng mga paa mo sa batong matalas. Kahit ang tapakan mo ay mga liyon, ahas na mabagsik. Di ka maano sa mga serpiente at liyong mababangis. Ang sabi ng Diyos, aking ililigtas ang tapat sa akin, at iingatan ko ang sinumang taong ako'y kikilanlin. Pag sila'y tumawag, laging handa ako na sila'y pakinggan. Aking sasamahan at kung may hilahin ay sasaklohan. Aking liligtas at ang bawat isa ay pararangalan. Sila ay bibigyang kot gagantimpalaan ng mahabang buhay at nakatitiyak na ang tatamuin nilang kaligtasan. Maring ipinit ko ang langit at di pumatak ang ulan. Maring magpadala ako ng mga bala upang salantayin ang lupain ito. Maring palaganapin ko sa aking bayan ang salot, ngunit sa sandaling ang bayang ito na aking pinili ay magpakumbaba, manalangin, hanapin ako at talikda ng kanilang kasamaan. Diringgin ko sila, patatawarin ko sila, at ibabalik ko sa kanilang lupain ang katiwasayan at kasaganahan. Ito ang salita ng Diyos. Salamat sa Daniel Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.